Shh! I've got a secret. Do you want some more good stuff in your life? For real? Stay tuned because I have a surefire way to amplify the good and push the not so good away. Hi there, it's me, Stefan Burchard, the Bowtie Coach. I record and post inspirational and useful business content here because I believe knowledge is power and mindset matters most. Check back because I upload new content every other Wednesday. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Family, friends, food, and fall are all reasons to be grateful. In addition, Thanksgiving has traditionally been a holiday of focusing on gratitude. I like November a little bit more than December, actually, because gratitude is the juice that keeps me going when I'm down now. We focus on gratitude this time of year, but it is something we could practice all year round. Why do you ask? Well, gratitude is important because it's an exchange of energy. Gratitude is about noticing, appreciating, and expressing thanks to someone or something. It's free, it's easy, and it doesn't require a lot of thought or planning. It isn't unusual or uncommon for one to slip into a habit of negativity. However, we can reverse that trend by looking back to find moments when we felt good about being on the receiving end of someone else's kind acts of gratitude or appreciation. By learning the skill and practicing gratitude, we can learn to direct our attention away from negative states toward positive things that matter to us. Author Melody Beattie says, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, and confusion into clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, and a stranger into a friend. Ooh, that really did give me goosebumps. And one of the coolest things is that there are so many ways to practice gratitude. My personal favorite is keeping a gratitude journal. I can go back and remind myself of the good that has been happening in my life. This happens when I find myself slipping into one of those negative states. As part of my sacred morning space, I set aside time to reflect on moments of gratitude in ordinary events, attributes about myself or others, and especially about people in my life. My mama taught me to be polite above all things, no matter what. Open the door for people. Say please and thank you. You're welcome. Bless you when someone sneezes, etc., etc. You can speak gratefully by using words of gratitude such as thank you, or giving blessings and appreciation to uplift the receiver. I was taught that actions speak much louder than words. So consider how you act around others. Saying thank you, smiling, donating time and treasure, and encouraging others can make the other person feel good. Well, and us too, or you too. People comment on how I'm so positive all the time. Oh my God, thank God they don't live in my head because they see those times when I'm not. Well, my positivity is the direct result of an attitude of gratitude over many, many years of practice. It's a habit, a habit that can be cultivated and created. It just takes a moment. Best of all, it's free and it's very easy to use. We have all experienced anxiety over the past few years, right? Anxiety likes to remind us of things that have gone wrong in the past in order to prevent them from happening again in the future. We can't help it. It's part of our survival instincts buried in the amygdala. You can't make it go away. We need to learn how to manage it instead of eliminating it because it's not going to go away. Just saying. However, when we look at the past through the lens of gratitude, we find that the good far, far outweighs the bad. Sometimes when I'm feeling a bit low, I focus on what makes me feel grateful. Yes, even something as simple as the cool, clear, delicious water in my water bottle or my amazing smartphone, whether big or small, it is all worth acknowledging. We often think of Thanksgiving in November as the fuel for the practice of gratitude. That's awesome! But giving thanks and being grateful isn't just for Thanksgiving. I hope you would join me and make gratitude a daily practice all year round. I am super grateful to have a career that allows me to help people make good decisions in their businesses and their lives. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe if you haven't. Also, please pass this along to a friend or business associate who's looking to grow professionally or personally. And now, watch my next video about the birth of the Bowtie Coach. In ordinary events, attitude, we have all experienced anxiety over the past. People make good decisions and their businesses. Subscribe if you haven't. Please ship.